surf stuff, everybody. And, well, we're not going to be surfing on a surfboard. No. We are surfing on an Azumarill. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and spray the pounce, because you know those Pokemon. My uh, Pokemon get pesky. So in this episode, we're basically going to battle all the trainers allowed in the surfing areas. So, yeah, she says it's so peaceful here. Well, it's not so peaceful. Everybody's having marrows and marrows and marrows and marrows and marrows. No, it's not completely filled with marrows. Else it would be bad experience, because marrows just don't give you a whole lot. See, maybe if it went out zero, I might go a level up. But uh, since it's a mirror, I don't know. Oh, that's why I was lounging. So yeah, we've just been basically face the trainers along these here routes, routes, routes. I hate those trainers that go back and forth. <sighs> well, I just don't like to catch up to them. Uh, cool. Okay, that's not too bad. It's better. It's better. I should get me some experience. Tentacles actually give you some pretty good experience sometimes. Like, the last one was about 300 something, this is 500, yeah, that's actually not too bad. Alright. I lost and I'm feeling blue. Yeah, sadness. Even though blue stands for sadness, it's my favorite color. Moving on! I'll put Gloom up front now. We're going to go and face this guy. I'm going to go back to those guys now after I face this guy. So, yeah, I don't think I'm skipping those guys in the islands or whatever. Because I'm not. That's going to Lewis. He has a Carviana. Because Carvanas are not hard to take out at all. Um, even though... You know, personally, I've been thinking about Team Aqua and Team Magma. And which one I like better... I personally think the water Pokemon like Carvan, even though it's like stupid and its defenses are low, it looks really cool. I mean, you say that to normal, normal doesn't look cool. But yeah, I think Team Aqua's better. Also, the boss is better. Like, you don't want, uh, like that first battle with Maxi. Seriously, his camera up only knows. At the most, it can do to you is magnitude 10, which that can hurt you pretty bad, but other than that, it's got, like I said before, tackle and under and focus energy well. Um, Sharpedo knows crunch, and, well, Sharpedo knows crunch, it can do some major damage to you. Oh, great. Digging in a hole, that's gonna totally help you. Still gonna absorb some HP back. Might as well give up now. Because I can't beat the power of observing. Told you, you can't. Oh, I must have leveled up for green. Oh, worry, this will level up green. <laughs> You're the big one. Alright. Whoa. Well, that did least than expected. Oh, no, please, no. Sand attack. Uh, okay, okay. Is I still hit now? Please kill. Thank you. Now we should get about a thousand experience for this game. 873. Well, that's enough to get to level 33. There's some experience in that bar, too. I was thinking too much about that rock, guys. All the Pokemon are in the you. Oh, you were studying the rocks. Oh, uh, there are no rocks on this beach. Um, if you didn't know, you could do that out. Um, yeah, no rocks. Oh, I see a train over there. Looks like I get a Taurus or something. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, what do I want with me? Take these two. And I'm sorry, Dr. Rabbit, but you're sitting out. And I can guarantee you there's a hidden item in between here. I can't guarantee, but I bet you. See if my bed's right. Alright, oh, Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper and a little maniac. Of course, Bird Keeper has some kind of bird type. Obviously, it wouldn't suit its name very well. I'm pretty much focused on the sand dew because it can be the most harmful. Well, not the most harmful, but the most annoyance, and that is sand attack. Um. 
I still don't have any plans to teach facade to anybody, but I'm gonna think about it for a few people. That's scary. His attack. I mean, Death Dog. <laughs> Death Dog gets really high in attack, but I don't know what I want to get rid of for that. Jeez. Oh, Alright, we're just gonna do a bite combination and a quick check. God, you're really worried about taking out Crobat, aren't you? Man. Well, it's not happening. Crobat's just too good. Crobat is the beast. Within a beast. Is it the purple bat with two wings? Oh my, or four wings on it. Holy crap. People must really want to take out Crobat. Uh, fine, we'll do this. Let's hope the spinny cat kills it one hit anyway. Alright, good. And yay, a level up for scary. Awesome. He is so awesome. She is so awesome. Whatever. I don't call Pokemon by the genders anyway. I just refer to him as him. <sighs> Alright, let's see if I win the bet. Yep, hidden item. It's a big pearl. It's not what I really wanted because I'm just going to sell it later for money. It's like when I gather up a bunch of nuggets, I'm going to sell them. And now that my um, go that's already evolved, I really have no use for rare candies either. You get back to you. Wait a minute. Let's see, how far are we into the video? Okay, I got my timing down. And, oh, man. Hey, you battle me. Okay. Let's see, do you have anything good? I wouldn't go, uh, I wouldn't call that good. And Proudpur is okay, Wingle's just not getting it off. This is where I'm gonna get some pretty good training done. Hopefully I can get each Pokemon to around level 35. Maybe, that would be kinda nice. Cause you know I did train that Pokemon up pretty high. But, you know, I'm like that. I like to be over level rather than under level. So, I mean, no gym leaders, all of them are always over level. Cause... Ugh. Yeah, Torkoal, like, all their, all of them flames Pokemon are like, like mid-20s, and then all of a sudden she has a Torkoal at level 29, that's almost level 30. And Death Dog's up a level, alright. Um, now, this is going to be the toughest one to train right here. Dr. Rabbit. Well, actually, I could say no, it is not, because there are quite a few bird keepers, and up here there's, there's no, there's no hiker up here, but there could be. That's one of those caves we saw in the desert later. Save it for later. After I beat the Elite Four, I'll get to it. Uh, it's something I didn't do in Sapphire just because I wanted to save it for this game. So yeah, save it. And continuing on. Where are those trainers? Ooh, an item. Iron! Boost your defense. I don't really, I, I really don't care for irons or X attacks. I, I hate both of them actually. Like, in the iron category, like the things that go along with irons, carbos, calcium, I really just sell those off for all that money. They're really not that much of a help, and they're a drug. Oh, uh, let's see. That's kind of cool. That should be taken down easily for rollout comp. And holy crap, I didn't know he was that close to level 33. I, I guess this isn't a hard to train anyway. Um, oh man, okay good. See, that's why I got rid of Supersonic on Crowbar. Because it doesn't even hit that often. Which, why would you want to attack that hits 55% of the time when you could have an attack that hits 100% of the time, huh? I, I plan to take this tentacle out in one hit. I want to get a little bit of extra experience with Dr. Rabbit just because he's probably going to be the hardest one to train. Um, even when you think about it, all my Pokemon, well, some of them are pretty easy. Like, Combuskin's really easy to train. I'm gonna go ahead and train him next, I suppose. But yeah, he has a deep disadvantage against water type, but it really doesn't matter. And guess what? Um, this is where I wanted to stop for the video. So I guess we only did an 11 minute video today, so after this train I want to stop because of... Uh, I just saw that item in the corner there, and where our next destination is, so it's going to be a kick. Yes. Oh man. Stupid whale, man. Didn't die in one. Whoa, what a gun. That's 
Dudley. Not really. Because Realm is not that strong. If you did know, I got rid of Sand Attack for Quick Attack on Combustion. So yeah. Because I already have Sand Attack and Sand Attack on two Pokemon, that's just cheap, man. Um, a protein. Okay, again, I really just sell those. And, you might not look at this place as very familiar, but, hang on. And, I have to find path there. Get right here, and, oh my gosh, we're at Duford Island, or Duford Town in this game. That's what they call it. So, yeah, um, next time we're going to explore the, um, places that go from Duford to Slateport Beach. Which might take a few episodes. Could take an episode and a half. Or maybe if I just breeze right through it, it could take just one episode of 15 minutes. That'd be nice, but... Anyway, I'll see everybody next time.